in the midst of a French morning, Lost British Cemetery is filled with mourners. 20 men will be laid to rest today. A piper's lament as the coffin of one of them is carried. Born by six members of 2nd Battalion, the Royal Regiment of Scotland, this is the final journey of Private William McAleer, the only one of the 20 to be identified. Private McAleer served with the Royal Scots Fusiliers. Among the 19 unknown soldiers are personnel from the Northumberland Fusiliers, the York and Lancaster Regiment, further members of the Royal Scots Fusiliers and the Queen's Own Cameron Highlanders. They were among the 60,000 British troops to be killed during the Battle of Loss in 1915, at last laid to rest with full military honours. Among the mourners, the great-nephew of Private McAleer, Stephen Cameron, himself a military man spending nine years in the Black Watch. During his army training, he carried with him his great-uncle's Catholic mass card. From a family point of view, his body was never found, so they can't, you, there's a, an element of no getting closure there, but by finding his body and having the full military ceremony, then you have that closure in a sense. Here, here we are today that we were able to do that with dignity. The military of today played an important part in this service. I think all of these occasions are very important for the military, today particularly for two Scots as Private McAleer came from one of our antecedent battalions. And I think uh, the circumstance of his death nearly 100 years ago denied him the opportunity for a proper burial. So now that we've had that opportunity to reinter him and remember him with members of his family here, I think is really poignant. Nigel Edwards from the Commonwealth War Graves Commission was called in when the remains of these soldiers were found. Private McAleer was the only one wearing a metal identity disc. Most were paper or leather and have disintegrated, meaning the men couldn't be identified. When we find the casualty, which has been buried for nearly 100 years, whose name is probably on a memorial somewhere, and then he actually has that resting place next to his comrades, um, that's, that's what we're here for. That's our job. A final moment of tribute as earth from Scotland is added to the grave. It's extremely poignant seeing someone buried almost a hundred years after they were killed. But this certainly isn't a unique ceremony. 43 further interments are scheduled to take place across Europe this year as the remains of those who fought and died in the Great War continue to be found. Tim Cooper, Forces News, Loss in Northern France.